Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this episode we're going to be having a look at one of the best looking external filters out there. This is the High Door Professional 600 and before I take it apart and show you exactly how the water flows through this thing and what it comes with, I'll just give you a few notes from the manufacturer. So High Door rate this particular filter for between 380 and 600 litres that is 90 to 150 US gallons. The pump is capable of shifting 1300 litres per hour, which is approximately 345 US gallons per hour. So it's got a reasonable turnover. There's five trays in here and they're all filled with various stuff. So let's take it apart and have a look what's in it. Before we take it apart, I'll just give you a close up the top of it because it is a really beautiful looking minimalist sort of design and it's got some very strange fittings on the top as well here we've got one of the clips here we've got the other main clip and on each side we've got like a little slide here which releases the lock And when all of that is loosened, it allows the top to be lifted out. So the water comes in, drops down the hole here, goes all the way through the trays to the bottom and then rises back up through the trays and gets sucked out by the pump back to the tank. Now these trays fit in here probably a little bit too well. They're a very tight fit. So we've got the screen on the top there to stop any media or anything being sucked up into the pump. And in the top tray, we've got two reasonably thick, fine pads. In the next three trays down, we've got some pretty good sintered glass media. I really like the look of this stuff. It's a sintered glass ring. The only problem with it is the ring. That big hole in the middle of it prevents it from supporting a reasonable amount of anaerobic bacteria. So whilst it might be excellent for aerobic filtration, for reducing your ammonia and nitrite, it's not gonna do much for your nitrates. However, as far as rings go, that's a good one. One, two, three trays of that. So, so they've been pretty generous with the filter media. And then in the fifth, Tray, which is the bottom one, we've got a big thick coarse pad. And because the trays aren't very deep, we might have a bit of a problem getting a coarse, medium and fine pad in there, but we'll see. And the first one we're going to start with is the bottom tray. This coarse pad is very coarse and very thick. We could get the coarse pad and the fine pad into this bottom tray, but ideally we want to try and squeeze coarse, medium and fine in there. Try and contain all the mechanical filtration in the bottom tray, and that would give us four full trays for filter media, really maximize this filter. If you're a bit worried about cutting your own foams, just cut them a little bit bigger than the template that you're using, which is the existing foam. Try it, if it's too big, just shave it down always easier to take little bits off than it is to add bits on because adding bits on is not an option. Really because of the way that Hydor have this thing set up when it comes from the manufacturer that really the depth of the trays isn't an issue for Hydor because of the way they set this up. You know that bottom tray all it had in was one coarse pad then you straight into filter media filter media, filter media, and then you've got fine pad, but unfortunately that's not the way that filtration should be set up. So the little trays leave us with a bit of a dilemma. That's our coarse, medium and fine. The fine pad is bulging out at the top, but it's very soft. I'm pretty sure that will flatten down once we get another tree on top of it. It will, so we've just managed to get a coarse, medium and fine in the bottom. 
Yeah, they could do with being a little bit taller, I think. I took a look at these trays and I'm thinking to myself, do you know these are going to be lucky if they fit a kilo each in here? So we'll make it four kilos in if we're lucky. Each one easily holds 1.3 kilos. So that makes the total amount that I've managed to fit in here 5.2 kilos, which is about 11 pound in imperial measurements for you fellas watching in America. That's a lot of media, but this has got very square sides. It haven't got like rounded sides or any sort of funny cutouts or anything like that. It's a good square efficient tray. In fact, there's five good square efficient trays. The bottom one, the height of that is a little bit of an issue, but I'm sure with five kilos pressing down on this, that top pad is going to fit in there nicely. So now all we need to do is just drop the trays back in here, starting with our mechanical one. Whilst I'm dropping these in, I just want to say that these trays fit together absolutely beautifully. They're a lovely tight fit, they're a tight fit on the sides as well, and you're going to get minimal bypass with this filter. It's very, very well designed. And the good thing is the sides are pretty clear as well so you can see that the trays are fitting tightly together. If they're not, you'll be able to spot it, give them a bit of a shake and actually get them fitted tight together to minimise that bypass or probably eliminate it altogether. it. Oh god, considerably heavier than it was when it arrived. One thing I forgot to show you as I was pulling this to bits is, whoop, is that button there. That's the primer. Even that doesn't really sit proud. It's just very neat. Everything about this filter is neat and well designed. Okay, so we managed to fit over five kilos of media into this really sleek, well-designed canister filter from Hydor. That puts it on par with the All Pond Solutions 2000 EF or EF2 Plus, as I think it's called now. The Sun Sun, oh, what's it called? Th Sun Sun 304 or 304B maybe, and also on par with the FX5 and FX6 from Fluval, which is that real monster filter that we took a look at a few videos back. This, it's a really, really good filter. Well made, well designed, decent turnover rate. It's only 19 watts as well, that pump, so it's not gonna cost the earth to run. As far as the reviews of it go, it's very quiet. Minimal bypass, if any, in here, because of the design of it, and all, wait, really, all around, I really, really like this filter. So I would definitely recommend it. The price of it is pretty good too. I'll put the link to it in the video description. I think it's available worldwide, so it should be a worldwide link. If you're in the market for a new canister filter, that might be a one to take a look at. Okay, I'm going to get that put back in the box, sent back to Craig. I'm sure he's going to be pleased with that because he didn't think he'd be getting five kilos of media for nothing. But he is. Plus he's getting all his old stuff back as well. So it's a win-win all around. Well financially it's not really a win for me, but at least it gives me the opportunity to show you guys this and make a video about it. Put it out on YouTube so the information's there for anybody around the world. That to me is worth more than money. Oh, I was just about to start packaging this away and I realised that I forgot to tell you what size aquariums this particular filter will now be suitable for to see if full cycle. Right, because we've got five kilos of media in there, that makes it suitable for 
a normally stocked aquarium of around 500 litres. That's one kilo per 100 litres. If we're heavily stocked, say we've got piranhas in there or something, or Malawi cichlids or predatory fish, we can halve that. So in effect, if you want to see a full cycle, this would be suitable for a tank of around 250 litres. Thanks very much for watching, and if you have a filter that you'd like me to take a look at, by all means, drop me an email. Details in the video description and the pinned comment, and also I'll put my phone number in there as well. Just give me your phone if you want a quick answer, because I've always got my phone on me. Don't send me messages through YouTube or what else am I on? Instagram or what's that other thing? WhatsApp. Uh, because quite often I don't see them. With Instagram, I do get messages coming through on my phone that says um, somebody wants to send me a message, and then when I log in, I don't know where to find that message, so I don't even know how to use that thing. So you've got my contact details in the video description, email or phone. That's the way to get a hold of me, no problem. And remember this service of Upgrading your filters and getting them back to you free of charge is only available for people in the UK due to the shipping costs. This to send to America or Australia would cost me a small fortune. I think it would probably cost me as much if not more than the media that's gone in here has cost. So I would be bankrupt if I started sending them worldwide. Thanks for watching. See you next time.